Hey, hey, hey. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you're doing well. If you're on the channel for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, guys, so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. So what's up, you guys? It is raining where I am. I am out of um, town, out of state, and it's raining, y'all. It's been raining the entire time that I've been gone. But it's okay. It's giving me time to relax. It's giving me time to enjoy. As a matter of fact, I ran out to the store and I'm on my way back into my room with my hubby to relax even a more. Sleep, sleep, lay down, get on my phone. Whatever I choose to do, that's what I've been doing these last couple of days, guys. I did get a little bit of shopping in, not too, too much. And I'll include that in this clip because this video is going to be really, really short. But I will um, include the shopping things that I found on um, this trip, which hasn't been a whole lot. But I just want to show you guys some stores you can look into and be on the lookout if you have them in your area. Not the typical stores that most people go in to shop for items for gift baskets, but just want to let you guys see um a store that you may be able to find some items, okay? So listen, guys, I want to talk with you about actually two things but they're kind of like one in the same but really not not the same okay so i wanted to talk with you guys about support okay i want to speak with you guys about support it's one of the main things that i see people talking about is one of the main things that i see um business owners get discouraged about one of the main things i see family members get discouraged about one of the main things i see teenagers getting discouraged about grown people getting discouraged about and that's the big s word support guys so i wanted to talk with you and let you know that sometimes along the way you're not going to have the crowd you think you should have you're not gonna have not even so much to crowd because sometimes it just be individuals sometimes it's our family members sometimes it's our friends sometimes it's our um people we've been rocking with for years and we just thought that they would be the greatest support system for our business we thought when we gave the news that we were opening our business that they would be the first one to jump on the bandwagon they would be the first one to share our post they would be the first one to buy a basket they would be the first one to say hey guys listen my friend is opening up a business come over here guys we would think that right well the truth of the matter is nine times out of ten that is not reality and that does not exist but i want to let you know that that is not um or that should not be your focus is it normal of course it is have i experienced it of course i have i've had to shake myself some days and say listen girl it ain't about your support it ain't about the people that's rocking with you it's not the people that's not rocking about with you all you got to do is keep your energy flowing, keep your energy positive, and keep your focus main so, okay? That's the main thing is to keep your focus on what it is that you should be doing and what it is that you are doing for the time. When you take your focus and attention off of who is and who isn't, you will get so much more accomplished because the truth of the matter is the feelings that we have are rightfully we have them rightfully so you know it, it's nothing wrong with expecting close people to be there for you there's nothing wrong with expecting friends to be there for you but i'm trying to keep you from disappointment and keep you from throwing in the towel okay because things like that will cause you to give up prematurely and i do not want you guys to give up prematurely on your dreams on your visions on your goals um, whatever it is, do not give up prematurely based off of support. Because guess what? If you keep fighting, you keep going long enough, God is going to send a tribe of people. Do you hear what I said? You're looking for support from one or two, but God is going to send you a tribe of people that will hear you, that will listen to you, that will buy from you, that will pray for you, that will support you all that you're looking for in due time but it's a process just like it is with everything else in life life it's a process it's a process walking alone and then after you walked alone for a while then god will come and turn around and bring you but guess what it feels like you're alone but you're really not alone because he's there and although let me tell you guys something although 
people, you may not um, visibly see the support. There are really more people for you than are, are against you or not working with you. Um, the enemy, the devil, his, his thoughts or his plans are to put thoughts in your head to make you feel that way. Um, so that you won't keep fighting and keep running and keep going to your destined place. He wants to make you think that there are more people against you than there are for you. But really, um, and I can use this for an example with my YouTube channel. There are some people that never comment, but they're watching, they're learning, they're filling their bag, they are getting their money, honey. You know what I'm saying? So, if we do things based upon what we see with our visible eye, then sometimes we will quit way before time. We shouldn't be quitting, period, but we will quit without seeing the um, destined promise for our lives. So I want to tell you guys to keep your focus on what it is that you're doing. Um, and the second thing I want to tell you guys is, which, like I said, is kind of somewhat the same, Um don't focus so much on individual sales, okay? Whether that's designing gift baskets, whether that is making cakes, pies, cookies, donuts, whatever, selling clothes, whatever it may be. Um, maybe you're making t-shirts, right? And you're focusing on one individual or one sale and it's running you crazy. It's running you raggedy. You can never see yourself stopping your nine to five or your um, 11 to seven or whatever job you have, whatever shift you work. We just call it nine to five. That's just a typical thing that we say for people that are working. OK, so whether you, you can't see yourself past that because you are making a sale here and you're making a sale there and it's kind of burning you out. Focus on getting corporate um, accounts. Focus on. Um, that's why I say sell on the streets. Okay. That's, that's my main go-to thing. Even if you haven't gotten to the place of getting corporate accounts, um, go to the streets on holidays. That's what I want to tell you guys, instead of focusing so much on one sale or, um, one individual, it's going to burn you out. Go to the streets, go out to the people. Um, connect with the real estate company, connect with one of my biggest things that I used to do. I don't do it as much now because I don't have the time, but I used to have a corporate account with a funeral home. And, and if I call them tomorrow and say, hey, I, I can take on some work, they'll be piling me up. Okay. But I don't have the time to do that right now. But if you have the time to do it, or you're trying to get yourself to a place where you don't have to work a nine to five. These are the things that you're going to have to do. You're not going to be able to quit a nine to five by getting a sale here and getting a sale there. You're going to have to contact funeral homes. You're going to have to contact real estate offices. You're going to have to contact schools. You see what I'm saying? That way, use your creative thinking. Use your creative mind. Take you a day. Um, pray. I always say pray. Um, write, pray and write, pray and write and think, pray, write, think, get to a quiet place, get in your nice hot bubble bath, take your long, hot, um, sit down, shower, light you some candles and just think and meditate and allow the spirit of God to speak with you and tell you some creative ways and some creative things that you can do, um, to get yourself, um, from a nine to five, if that's what your goal is. Now, some people's goal in life is to work a nine to five, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If that's your goal, then that's your goal. But if your goal, which is was my goal, um, when I got on this channel to teach you, okay, because I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. Those of you that follow me know that. Um, so that was my purpose of creating my channel and why it's called Birthing Bosses with Felicia. Now, you do not have to work, um, full, be a full-time entrepreneur to be a boss because you can be a boss still working a nine to five, okay? So I want you guys to know that you are a boss, okay? If you're designing, if you're creating, if you're selling, whatever, you are a boss, okay? But my my whole objective on this channel is to get people from outside of the norm, thinking that they have to punch a clock and all of that, okay? So focus on the bigger picture, okay? Once you realize this is what you want to do, selling gift baskets, opening a boutique, um, 
opening a bakery, open a florist, whatever it is that you desire to do. Once you realize that's exactly what you want to do, focus on bigger pictures, okay? That way you don't burn yourself out, okay? Focus on the corporate accounts. Focus on hitting the streets, okay? Because listen, Father's Day is coming up and that's not a big, big holiday for most people. So being that you don't get that many orders for Father's Day, I know a lot of you are new following me. So I want to make sure that I'm constantly giving out the information that I gave from day one when I started my channel. Hit the streets. Find out what you need to do. Hit the streets. Get you a permit. Whatever you need to do to get the ball rolling, okay? Get on the streets and make your money. You may be only getting a couple sales um, by taking orders, but once you hit the streets, you'll find out that the people will come, okay? Guys, I'm going to get off of here so that I can go and continue my stay, but I love you guys so very, very much. Continue to pray, continue to stay positive, and continue to get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, stay tuned for the clips. Okay, y'all, so we are inside of Gabe's. G-A-B-E-S. If you have a Gabe's inside your neck of the woods, make sure you take a look there. They have automotive care. They have lights. They have car washing um, material. They have all type of things. Smell goods, guys. Here you're seeing some of the prices up front. They have name brand body washes, and they're at a very, very reasonable price. So I did pick up a few of those. I um, also... Showing here, I'm showing you guys the socks. Okay, I don't really recommend buying stuff like that to go in baskets unless you have a high end, high budget basket. Okay, um, maybe these are some gift ideas that you can get for your loved one, your hubby, your boo thing, whomever, your dad. But I don't really recommend getting high end prices, price items to go in baskets unless that's what they are desiring to pay for. If they want to pay for it, my God, get it. These shoes are marked down to a really good price, guys. So these are things that you can put in high-end gift baskets. If they want to pay, get it. I thought these were really, really nice sets for $20, guys. This is actually something you can get and really don't have to put anything else with it. You can wrap some cellophane around it, put your bow on it, and call it a day. It was $20, and you can definitely sell it for $40, $45. I didn't get any, but I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not going to make a big investment for Father's Day. I did pick this up. It was $2. And then I realized when I got home why it was $2 because it had been opened. I did pick up all these ones you see. I did pick these up as well. And then when I get home at a local store, I'll just pick up some Axe deodorant to go with it. Guys, look, I'm in Dollar General. They have the chilling and grilling items for $1. Hey, why is Dollar General throwing shade on Dollar Tree right here? <laughs> oh, my God. I had to put that picture in there three times. Dollar General, so y'all can go and spend that 125 at Dollar Tree. Or y'all can come over here and spend $1 at Dollar General, baby. Okay. Yes, sir.